Thank you, Jehovah Heavenly Father, for this great day, for another great day, Lord. And I ask the Holy Spirit to intercede on my behalf as I read and pray, and I lift my hands up to your Holy Oracle, thanking you for your kindness to me and for remembering me in my lowest state. In Yeshua's precious name, I pray all these things. Amen. I think I might have read this yesterday, Proverbs 4. Maybe not. <clears throat> Proverbs 4. Hear, sons, a father's teaching, and listen to know understanding. For teaching good I give to you, my law not to forsake. For son I was to my father, tender and only son before my mother. And he taught me and said to me, May cling my words to your heart. Keep my commands and live. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Not to forget. And not stretch away from the words of my mouth. Not do forsake her, and she will keep you. Love her, and she will guard you. The first thing is wisdom. Get wisdom, and with all your getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she will lift you up. She will honor you when you embrace her. She will give to your head a wreath of grace, a crown of glory. She shall shield you with. Hear, my son, and receive my sayings, and shall be many to you the years of life. In the way of wisdom I have taught you, I have made you walk in the tracks of uprightness. When you go, not shall be narrowed your steps, and if you run, not you shall stumble. Take hold on instruction, not do let go. Keep her, for she is your life. On the path of the wicked, not do enter, and not do advance in the way of evil ones. Ignore it, not do pass into it. Turn aside from upon it, and pass on. For not they do sleep, if not they have done evil, and is taken away their sleep, if not they cause to stumble. For they eat the bread of wickedness, and the wine of violence they drink. But the path of the righteous is as a light, bright, going and shining till is established the day. The way of the wicked is as darkness, not they do know at what they stumble. My son, to my words listen, to what I say bow your ear. Not do let them not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the center of your heart, for they are for life they are to those who find them, and to all his flesh healing. With all diligence keep your heart, for out of it are the issues of life. Turn away from you the crooked mouth, and devious lips Put far from you. Your eyes to the front let look, and your eyelids let look straight before you. Ponder the track of your feet, and all your ways will be set. Not do bend right or left. Turn aside your foot from evil. <clears throat> I 
I've been reading to you in the book of, uh, where is it, Matthew, I think I'm on 26, I'm not. good heavens, okay, um, that's right, I was halfway through the chapter, and I paused to read and I picked it, or is it 25, hold on, 26. I see I was in the other book. Oh, just a moment. Okay, I left off at Matthew 26, 46. <coughs> Picking it up from there. Matthew 26, 47. And this is the Greek. Bear with me because it's a different direction than what I've been reading. And it's a little difficult for me. Bear with me. <clears throat> Matthew twenty six forty seven, And while he was speaking, behold, Judas, one of the twelve, came with him, a crowd, numerous with swords and clubs, from the chief priests and elders of the, of the people. He, and betraying him, gave to them a sign, saying, Whomever I may kiss, he it is, seize him. And at once, coming up, they laid on the hands Jesus and him. But Yeshua said to him, Friend, why are you here? Then coming up, they laid on the hands. Then coming up, they laid on the hands on Jesus and seized him and behold one of those with Yeshua stretching the hand drew the sword of him and striking the slave of the high priest took off of him the ear then says to him Yeshua Jesus put back of you the sword to the place of it for all those taking the sword by a sword shall perish. Or think you that not I can now call upon the Father of me, and he will place me, and he will place near me more than twelve legions of angels. How then should be faithful, how then should be fulfilled the scriptures, so that it must be? In that hour, said Yeshua to the crowds, as a, as on a robber came you with swords and clubs together to take me daily with you I sat teaching in the temple and not you seized me but this all has happened that may be fulfilled the scriptures of the prophets then the disciples all leaving him fled but those seizing Yeshua led away to Caiaphas, the high priest. When the scribes and the elders were assembled, and Peter followed him from afar, up to the court of the high priest, and entering within, sat, and, under, and the under-officers to see the end. And the chief priests and the elders and the Sanhedrin whole sought false testimony against Yeshua so as him they might execute.
but not did find even many false witnesses coming forward, not did find at last, but coming up, two fa false witnesses said, This one said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and via three days to build it. And standing up, the high priest said to him, Nothing do you reply of what these of you do witness against. But Yeshua kept silent. And answering, the high priest said to him, I adjure you by God, the living, that us you tell if... You are the Christ, the Son of God, says to him, Yeshua, you said it. Yes, I tell you, from now you will see the Son of Man sitting off the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore the garments of him, saying, He blasphemed. Why yet need we why yet need have we of witnesses? Behold, now you have heard the blasphemy of him. What to you seems it? And they answering said, Liable of death he is. Then they spat in the face of him, and beat with the fists him the and slapped him saying, Prophesy to us, Christ, who is it the one having struck you? And Peter outside sat in the court and came to him one maid, saying, And you were with Yeshua the Galilean, but he denied before all, saying, not I know what you say, not I know what you say, going out, and he, into the porch, saw him another, and says to those there, and this one was with Jesus the Nazarene, and said, and again he denied with an oath, not I know the man, after a little, and coming near, those standing said to Peter, Truly also you of them are, even for the speech of you manifests you makes. Then he began to curse and to swear, Not I know the man. And immediately a cock crowed, and remembered Peter the word of Yeshua, saying to him before a cock crowed, <coughs> Before a cock crows, thrice you will deny me, and going forth outside he wept bitterly. Hello, Peggy. Hi. What, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I, was, I, 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 was doing a, I was doing a broadcast. I'm doing a broadcast right now. What do you, I was reading the word. Uh, and the phone rang, and and you came on, and so I picked up the phone. So we're, we're, what are you doing? How are you? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about you. Yes. Yes, 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 oh, they're good, they're good, I'm going to put you on speaker, you don't mind, do you, okay, okay, yeah, anyway, so I was just reading the word here, Peggy, and um, I was, uh, just I was just finishing it up finishing it up when you called. Did you wanna pray with me? Do you wanna pray? Yes. Okay, you pray yes. first. You go ahead and pray first. And then I'll pray yes. after you, okay? Alright. Okay, you go first. <laughs> Turn on God. What a mighty God you are. 
You are so good. Yes, Lord. You are so sweet. You are so precious. You are so kind. You are so loving, Lord. We love you because you are God. And we are not like you. Yes, Lord. Not like you, Paul. And so, Lord, we do appreciate you because there is none on this earth, in this earth, like you. Yes, Lord. Lord, thank you for Adrian. Thank you for being watching over the series family. Lord, I pray you continue to keep them and to guide them and to protect them, oh God, from all what is happening around them. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you continue to bless them. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you continue to help them, oh God, and keep them in good health. Lord, we know, Lord, one day you shall call us home, but Lord, we are asking you for the time being that we are alive to keep us going. Take away, Lord. The sicknesses and the pains of God and the rest of God to enjoy yes, the rest of our life. I pray for my family also, dear Father. I pray you be with each and every one. My husband, my my grandchildren, my son, my everything, all all my family members around there, Father. I pray, Lord, that you keep them and guide them. And you have the more God to know that you love them and you care for them, Lord. Father, we thank you. For your mercy, we thank you for your blessings. In Jesus' precious yes, name, we ask. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jehovah Heavenly yes. Father, for your kindness to us and for what you do for me and for what you do for yes. Peggy. And I thank you so much. You, Forgive me where yes. I fall short, Lord. And uh, I ask that you be with Peggy and Demario. Yes. And remember that Demario's yes. need for the laptop and the computer service. And also, Lord, um, uh, remember, you, Lord, remember my brother and his family. And remember my mother yes. and my father. And um, the yes. one that I love, Lord. And Lord, if I'm forgetting yes. anybody, I ask the Holy Spirit to intercede on my behalf. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes. So, so, so what you doing today? <laughs> yeah. Do you? Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> tell me. Go ahead. Tell me. I'm listening. I'm still listening. What is it? What is it? What? Oh, praise the Lord. Thank God. <laughs> I've been praying, Peggy, that he got it. I, oh, so tell me about it. Tell me. Tell me. Uh-huh. Oh, thank God. Oh. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Paul. Oh, my God. Paul. I'm going to take you off speaker because I can't hear you. Okay, hold on. Yeah, that's so wonderful, Peggy. Oh, my God. That's great. I've been praying. I've been praying because I didn't know how it was going to happen, but I knew it was going to happen. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been on my mind, and I'm I, I'm going to send you some. I'm going to send you something. I just don't know uh, when. Uh, I have got I've got some errands I got to run, and as soon as I get out there, I'm going to send you something. Okay, yeah. So um, how how are you doing now? Are you getting your medicines and your medications and stuff like that? You're on top of that. How's that going? Are you keeping on top of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I wish I could say, you know what, Peggy? I want to send you some um, chromium picolinate. It might help too because it's a it's a, a a mineral that you know we are supposed to get in our diets. And a lot of times we don't get it in our diet, but um, like people that have diabetes really, really need it. Um, if I could get some and send it, I have some, but I want to be able to send it to you. I don't know if I can, how much it'll cost. You know what? Let me get the, your address again. Give me your address again, Peggy. Go ahead and give it to me again. Yeah, your address. Yeah, that one. The one I can send you, send you something, like in the mail. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. Uh huh. Just okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hold on. Hold on a second. Okay, and then, okay, I got Lincoln District, Lincoln Post Office. the zip I know but isn't there like a post postal code oh, okay okay nothing more than that no just Peggy okay, okay. oh right 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 okay got it great okay got it and we're still yeah I got it okay I got it. Okay. Okay. Oh, Peggy. I love you so much. I'm so pleased that DeMario got that freaking laptop. Oh, my goodness. I'm so pleased. Yeah. That's so great. I am so pleased. I knew, I, I knew God would answer the prayer. Oh, good, good. Oh, that's so great, Peggy. Because I was just so worried about him getting behind, you know, in his schoolwork, you know. And now he can progress and go further. Oh, I'm so pleased. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Paul is the best. Ugh. Oh, tell Paul, oh, I love him for this. Tell him so much thank you. Oh, my goodness. So much thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, so I should probably um get going. Did you, um, I got to go do a bunch. I got to make breakfast and everything for them, too. For, because for they're not. I know they're not up yet. They get up late, you know. They sleep in. I know they're old, Peggy. They're old. That's. They, they like to sleep in, and I guess they're kind of giving me a break because they know I do a broadcast in the morning, you know. But, yeah. yeah. I, no, it's not a job. I don't get paid for it. I just do it because it's important. Yeah, no, I don't get paid for it. Yeah. For the Lord. Yeah, no, because it's the Word. It's the Word. The Lord's Word. Yeah. Why should I get paid for that? You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the Lord does provide for me. He does. He does. Yeah. And he provided for tomorrow. And I'm so pleased. I'm so grateful. I am. Yeah. I was gonna, uh, I've got dishes in the kitchen, I gotta wash, and I got breakfast to make for them, and it's just, you know, the whole routine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I know, Peggy, I wouldn't have you do them anyways. You, no way, man. I love you, Peggy. <laughs> I love you so much. I would rather you sit down and let me do them. <laughs> if you must know. If you must know, because you and mom are getting up there in age, I wouldn't have you stand there doing no way. Oh, freaking no way. Oh, you would be sitting on the couch and I'd be bringing you tea. <laughs> yeah, so you would. Yeah. Oh, you mean the discount, the elderly discount, or the elderly pass? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Peggy, I love you. I do. I love you so much. I've been thinking about you so much in the past few days. I've been just, I, I really need to get down there and send you something. So I do. I miss you, and I love you, and I worry about you that you haven't got what you need, you know? Yeah. I'm so glad, though, about Jim. Go ahead. You what? Oh, you want me to pray again? Oh, 
Okay, um, I'll pray one more thing um, before we go. Um, Lord, Jehovah, Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you so much for Peggy and for what you do for us, Lord, and for um, getting DeMario that laptop. I'm so grateful, Lord. I really am so grateful. And thank you for remembering us in our lowest states, Lord. I, I'm just so grateful. And for caring about us. And for my one friend in the whole wide world, Peggy. <laughs> and uh, Lord, I thank you so much for all that you do for me. In Yeshua's precious name, I pray. Amen. So, I guess I'll, I'll let you go then, shall I? Yeah, I do. Yeah, you did all yours already, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Peggy, I love you. Yeah. I'll give you a buzz. What? What? Yeah, I will. I'll give you a buzz and I'll let you know. Okay? All right, Peggy. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. I will. Okay. I love you. All right. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I won't. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so funny. Okay. All right. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Jehovah, for your kindness to me, for what you do for us, and for what you do for Peggy. And thank you so much, Heavenly Father, for buying um, DeMario, um, for helping Paul get DeMario a laptop. Thank you kindly, and, and Yeshua's precious name, I pray all these things. And also, be with the one that I love. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Take care. Have a great day, wherever you are. And uh, God be with you. Amen.